Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be playing Rise and Grandmaster Elo, uh, and I appear to be versus Garen. Maybe. Could also be Silas, we don't know yet. Haven't seen them. Oh, okay. We're versus Silas. Okay, I mean, this is a matchup that's good for me. I counter Silas. Um, only thing is, I don't want to let him get any free trades early. Because uh, I just have superior wave control compared to him. And my skirmishing is also okay. That minion literally just chased me all the way. Dude, that's such an awkward. Wow. Oh, it's okay. Versus Silas, you just want to be able to do stuff like that, uh, where you just W and E, level 1. Mostly level 1, level 2 as well. Um, if he gets all his abilities off on you, like if he lands all of it, then he can actually out damage you. But otherwise, you should be able to out damage him. So you really just want to bully this guy without letting him get his W off on you. That's my objective here. I just want to collect CS safely, get my mana flow stacks, and uh, play to punish him early on. As you can see, he is running out of health potions pretty quickly. Uh, and But at the same time, I am also running a little bit of him. So you just want to be really mindful of your mana bar. Okay, it's your mana versus his health bar in this early laning. So who's going to run out first? Me out of mana or him out of health? Okay, timer is 3 minutes in the game. Skull is about to spawn in 10 seconds, so I want to make sure I have Pryo. And what I mean by Pryo is I want to make sure I have the shove so I can collapse to a, a river fight if I have to. Make sure my jungler gets the scuttle. Okay, I'm gonna put this ward over here and pursue deer. Hey, one thing to note about this game state is I am extremely gankable um, because I'm versus a melee champion with setup, and then his jungler also has crowd control. So it's not very good for me to stay this overextended for a long amount of time. So I am going to channel my base. I can probably outplay for him. So I was my TP too. Might try going on me. This is actually better for me. Because, uh. He TP'd, right? But he didn't base. So this means he's actually gonna be quite behind. And if I can just get back to mid. What does this Cho'Gath do? Okay, there you go. He should TP there. Oh, what the fuck? I'm gonna save my, uh, okay. And he's probably gonna try and flash after me or something. Maybe not. Alright, we're good, we're good. Okay, so I want you guys to note how I played that, okay? So I got my E off on him, my flux, but I didn't snare him. Not for a bit. Reason being, I want to snare him once my abilities are coming off cooldown. If I just snare him, and then I press Q, but my E's not up, then I can't burst him in time. I'll just have no damage. So, it's a combo I like to do a lot um, when I want to secure kills. Uh, because Ryze has point and click abilities, it's extremely easy for me to land my abilities and secure kills. Okay, so I think I'll actually take a base here. Uh, he has to deal with this wave still, while I can just take a free reset. And because I'm by Silas, I think I'll just get an Oblivion Orb early. Um, I'm going to be pretty immobile and my CDR is not going to be that great for a while. But this Oblivion Orb basically makes it so Silas can never 1v1 me. Um, and even if he does 1v1 me, he's not going to win the trade. We're going to go even or I'm going to win the trade because I have Oblivion Orb. He can't heal off his W. So I've effectively countered his kit with this one purchase, Oblivion Orb. Um, this will delay my item spikes a little bit. But... Uh, it doesn't matter that much. Okay, I'm level uh, 6 now. My abilities do even more damage. I'm going to ward here. Uh, make sure you guys find ward timings. I've been doing a lot of coaching recently, and uh, I know there's a lot of people just sit on their wards and they don't use it. So, um, How to identify ward timings? It's usually when you don't have to CS, or you know like enemy's not going to contest your ward, and you can defend it. So, Silas was not in lane, therefore I warded. I 
Gonna get that plate. Get some poke. Okay. It was pretty mad. <laughs> Okay, now I'm flashless. This changes my lane a little. I can't just AFK shove anymore. Even though my champion, Rise, out shove Silas, I'm not gonna like AFK shove. Uh, I have to keep in mind my mana and I have to keep in mind how far up in the lane I'll be playing if I do end up shoving. However, I do want to get the hell out of this lane, so I think I'll flash up. Um, so I'll be playing for a, be uh, a reset. So that's why I'm shoving this hard, because I know I'm gonna reset. Alright, I'm gonna take my base right now. Okay. He just lets me uh, base for free. We take those. Okay, so my purchase here is really awkward. I can't afford Ionians. Um, and I can't afford Lost Chapter. So, I'll go Blasting Wand. I actually really don't like this right now, because uh, I wish I could have bought Ionians. Because I'm really immobile, and I'm easy to gank, because I have no move speed. But, this is still the most optimal purchase, given the amount of gold I had. So, I mean, that's all I can do, really. It's just buy this Blasting Wand. My boots are going to be rather delayed now. Uh, we see Silas over here. Can't really match the play. I mean, I can with my ulti, but... I'm going to shove out first. You guys ever wonder why my CS per minute is always high in every single game, no matter what? It's because I shove out before I move to Rome plays. That guy fucking grief, dude. That's crazy. I'm gonna put the ward down on this herald. So we can tell if they sneak it or anything. They're probably on that Drake. Because my fiddlestick showed top, and he died top. Um, that means their Udir can probably just Drake for free. I'm gonna take a reset, and I was talking about how immobile it was, and I can just buy boots here. It's a move speed, so I can move quicker. Um, an alternative play I could have made there, actually, and I think it might have been better, is I could have just ignored mid wave, um, just let it be even, and then ulted to top lane. I think that might have been better. But Fiddlesticks had literally zero reason to force the play, so, I mean, yeah. But you gotta do what you gotta do in solo queue. I think uh, next time I see that scenario pop up, I'll maybe go for the ult next time. It's all about readjusting your logic and learning in solo queue, guys. Okay. My EQ spread on basically everything. Look for a fiddle war on me. Okay, now I gotta be really careful of uh, walls. You can just look to ult me at any time. Uh, I don't even see their zillion right now, so I'm just gonna play safe, man. I can't be hurt if, like, if I see him. Until we literally, okay. Until we literally see him, I can't walk up. Because uh, Fiddle 6 ult is just too broken. So I can afford my Ionians now, but I'm not going to base because it's not the best timing. Look for a base. Mm, maybe soon it is, though. It's so hard because even if he just Fiddle ults in front of my face, if Udyr is here, I'm dead because I can't stop him realistically. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys a trick. Um, if you guys are frequent frequent viewers of my videos, you know this trick. Basically, I just keep this one minion alive, make it so my minions auto attack it, and then voila, I'm farming safely on my side. And I don't have to be scared about walking up. But he still kills me. That is, yeah, that's rough, man. Got 1v3.
He missed his silence. How sad, dude. How sad. Oh my goodness. My jungler is really not doing very well this game. Right, I'm gonna port back on the map. Maybe get a pink ward because it's extremely hard for me to walk up and play. Probably gonna play it. Still don't see Udyr. See, the thing that complicates lane matchups the most is the jungler. And uh, especially in higher elos, like GM+, Plus, if my jungler is worse, it's just impossible to play League of Legends. Um, it's actually so difficult. So I'm just gonna have to make like miracle plays in a se oh my god, like what? I can't even survive that I think. Okay. Nice, I'm alive I'm alive. Yeah, nope. Both me and Silas have three kills. The difference is this guy literally just gets it for free. Like his teammates are there to help him. I'm just doing it on my own, you know. So yeah, this is uh, the rumored jungle gap. Not much you can really do about it. On the bright side, Fiddlesticks does scale pretty well. Wait, he could have could have probably killed him. All he had to do was ult. That's rough. My boots are extremely delayed, so I think I might just go uh, Sorks. Like, if you get Ionians really late, it's not as cost efficient. So I'll probably just go Sorks or something. Do a lot more damage. I could have done the trick here again, but uh, I'm gonna just autopilot it and killed it. This guy is not clearing his raptors, I think I'll clear it myself. Be greedy and solo you guys. No one's gonna carry but you. Aw oh, man. We're so fucked. Bro, what are you doing? Going to mid. Yeah, this is quite the tragedy. It's really, really hard to play. See this guy. Oh my god. I think he beats me too. Holy shit, dude. Ah, I have a 1 in 6 topside. That's so hard to play. My goodness. Well, I mean, we're down two towers here, one tower here. We're down three towers, and yeah. I'm going to press yes on this one, but if it doesn't go through, I'll still keep trying. But it's not looking very likely we'll win. Maybe I can carry by some miracle, but I wouldn't really count on it. Keep farming up. Holy crap, dude. There's so much damage. That was all just with Stride Breaker and Boots. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna take our base now. We get some Sork Shoes. Try and make some plays on the map. This 
see what I can do. 28% CDR. Okay. We're scaling, boys. This is so rough. I think he kills him actually. Yeah, that's worth. It's actually really worth. Hopefully Trogath can wave clear. Um Yeah, we'll just shove this out and get out of here. Don't want to get collapsed on by Salas. Even time. Yeah, we'll just be trying to one-shot people. This guy has no Magi stack, so I think it's actually winnable. And Vayne just got like two shutdowns in a row, so... I think we can try it. Sometimes it's better to save mental, but like... You know... Um, like this game is actually winnable now, but given the the state that uh, we pressed FF on, it was actually looking very doomed. But people do throw a lot. It's a lot of tenacity. Let's get out of here. Bane is getting 1v1 again. I think he might win it. Oh. Looks like he doesn't win it unless he gets his condemn off. It was kind of close though. I mean, it gets better and better the later the game goes, the 1v1, so. What the hell is that? Silas is giant actually. So I'm gonna try and clear the wave. Keeping mid tower up is extremely important. The strike is up in 20 seconds. I mean, Drake is probably there. I think it's very hard to contest. Unless we go kill this guy. Ah, yikes. Walked into that one. Uh huh. Oh nice. Okay, I mean Vayne is getting all these shutdowns. This is really nice. Make sure I can TP if I have to. The farming is just as important. They go on me. There's not many ways for me to respond other than flash ever cross phase rush escape. I'm so close to my item. Man. It was pretty greedy overstay by me. But hopefully I can just make it out in time. I just want the wave. I think I can probably get out in time. Alright. And the reason I stayed is this. One gold. Hell yeah. We're on our item spike. We do a lot of damage now, guys. Do so much. Okay, so 
My next item is either going to be... Um, I think in this game I don't really need Zhonyas. Uh, they're pretty very short range. They don't have that many assassins. So my next item is either going to be Void Sath or Deathcap. Looks like they're not really stacking MR, so... It's looking like Deathcap, boys. We're going to have our 700 AP spike. Uh, once I can buy my Deathcap. We're kind of caught out. Are you still in here? No, he left, actually. Holy shit, we've scaled, boys. This is good, this is good. We can win, we can win. Yo, can... Why are the boys so scared, man? Oh, the alley oop. Okay. Not bad, not bad. And I'll go bot. I'll be pretty close to my uh I'm like 2.5k off my death cap or something. 2.4k. Vayne is very strong. I'm very strong. We're just hyper carries. And look at my e levels, man. Compared to this Silas, I'm level 15. He's level 13. His kills don't mean shit. You know why? Because he, he didn't keep up in CS with me. He didn't catch those waves. He just clown fiested it up. And this is the secret, guys. Um, to carrying on Rise, or carrying in general consistently. Picking up all the CS you can. Making sure you don't lose out on guaranteed resources. Uh, guaranteed resources being minion waves in most scenarios. Minion waves are always free. I can probably base here. I could base, but I don't have to because I have TP. Oh, he's fighting over there. Alright, let's just base. And I guess we're playing on defense because, uh,. I'll tell you guys the core mistake that Fiddlesticks made. This is called strong side. This is their strong side. The enemy has literally all their vision and all their players up on top side. That's why it's called strong side. But we chose to uh, to walk into their strong side. So that's why shit went fucking bad. See what I'm doing here? I'm guarding my wave because they could have really fucked with it if they so chose and then we wouldn't be able to pressure towers or anything. Forty seconds on Drake. But what we want to do here is we're gonna prep Drake. Okay, so everyone's going to reset. What I'm going to do is I'm probably going to stay on the map because I don't really have anything to buy. Uh, and I'm going to get some vision so we can get some uh, a better idea of how they're going to play this fight out. And we should all be mid. Let's play with Vayne. off on them. I think he might die. Oh, Vayne is frontlining. That's not good. So I just want to play with my Vayne. And I can even talk, like, um, while I'm team fighting. Let's, let's just... How decently I can read the situation. Um, I could just leave here. And then I think I'll play topside now. Gonna order the uh, needlessly large rod. One for a jungle. Blue ups. Yo, why are you top actually? Oh man. We're gonna have to share. 
resources. This Cho'Gath is really griefing me by going top when I'm going top. So I've gotten a good amount of comments um, from you guys saying that something about like team fighting is hard on Rise, or you feel like you do less damage on Rise when you team fight. Um, the answer, it's very simple, is that you guys don't know your team fight win cons. Shut down. Oh, Bane's dead. Man. How oh, bullshit is that, dude? They're so fast. It's not really winning for you guys, by the way. Just try to leave. They just need to sit on Vayne. Very close to death cap, 400 more gold. Probably collect bot. And I'm gonna fucking lose it if Cho'Gath griefs me again, man. Because he really should not go top at all. Man. It's just so obvious that he goes bot. So because I have TP, I'm gonna go bot, collect death, death cap gold, and then probably port back on the map. see Silas on a base. Whenever you see an enemy on a base, um, that means you probably have a timer to do stuff and contest. What the fuck, dude? Wow, oh, man. It's just cheesing down there. Man, can't believe I died. Nice, good burst. Yes, GA. It's not the worst. I'm up soon. Nice, this looks good. This looks pretty good. no Garen this time. I'll wait for um, Bane to be alive again. What a messy game. I've been playing sloppy the past couple minutes too. Alright, 700 AP. I do so much damage now. on mid. Not bad, he's low. Don't really have to do much more other than that. Are they on it? No, they're not on it. Need people to come. I do a shit ton of damage. But the main carry is Vayne, she definitely out damages me, so if a scenario happens where I have to die for her, I will gladly die for her. But ideally, we both live, you know. But that's what I mean about like knowing my team fight win con. I just want to stay back. Um, I want to let Cho'Gath and Fiddlesticks engage. While me and Vayne just do kiting. Okay. Just want to stick with Vayne. T 
take very careful note of my positioning. I'm always with Vayne. Always. I'm not frontlining. I think that's a lot of issues a lot of players have, um, whether it's Ryze or any other champion. I'm always playing the back line and keeping formation with my Vayne. These guys actually have no wave clear. They're three melees, they can't clear versus us. We just end the game here. Alright, we actually won that game. We take those. So I'd say the main lessons this game is just team fight positioning. Obviously don't do what I did, um, like in the mid late game where I just started kinda dying in the side lanes. Whenever you're in doubt and you don't know what to do, just group with your teammates. Um, it applies in any elo, honestly. Um, just gonna check damage real quick. 14k, wasn't too- <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, this is a vain carry game. Yeah, I got a couple honors too though, because uh, I was uh, playing decent as well. Anyways, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I shall see you in the next video. Bye bye.